Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. So this video is totally spur of the moment, but today I am going home. And if you don't really know what that means, I basically live in two places and have been for the past five years. I am in a long distance relationship, as I just mentioned, pretty much been doing this for the last five years. And when a lot of you hear that, one of your number one questions is, how do you do it? How and why do you do it? It seems like a lot of work. It's really stressful and yeah, all those things are right. All those things are totally right. And my heart is constantly between two places and today is very bittersweet. And since this is the most prominent thing on my mind and I'm struggling in a lot of ways with having to leave and I feel like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm keeping my tears back right now. This is my reality and has been my reality for the last five years. And I thought the best way to channel what I'm feeling is into a video and who knows if this will even see the light of day but you know talking to you guys really helps me process a lot of my feelings so without further ado grab a snack get comfortable and let's get started as I mentioned this is totally spur of the moment so if I seem kind of all over the place please do forgive me because I'm just gonna throw my feelings at you as they come and a lot of you constantly ask me why do I do it how do I do it how do I handle it? As it stands, I live between Boston, Massachusetts and Toronto, Ontario. I am constantly between the United States and Canada. And in the last five years, I've really not only grown to love Gil more and more, but I really love Boston. And at the same time, I still love Toronto. I still love my hometown. The place that I'm currently at, although I would love to move in with Gil someday, and that is definitely on the horizon for us, it's hard for me to picture giving up any of them. Because no matter where I am, no matter where I go, my heart is always missing something. I have friends and I have family back home and I love them dearly and when I'm here I miss them and my heart aches for them and right now all I'm thinking about is that I'm gonna go home and I'm not gonna see Gil for another month and a half and for a lot of people in long-distance relationships that's pretty quick a lot of people would love to see their significant other that much and I am so lucky so lucky every day that this is something that I can do and this is a way we can maintain our relationship which is why I'm so thankful to so many of you for supporting this channel because by doing that you're also helping me live a lifestyle that allows me to see my partner as often as I do and have the freedom in my life and in my schedule to be able to do that it really does mean a lot to me and it is so much more than just fashion a lot of the times long distance relationships are really tough. Anything you go through in a long distance relationship is made that much worse. Any fight you have, any disagreement you have, anything that you feel about your partner, whether that's missing them or being mad at them or wanting them or, you know, whatever that might be, anything you feel, you feel a hundred times more because it is not as simple as picking up the phone or texting your partner and saying, hey, you want to meet up tonight? And there are so many of my friends who have that in their life and a huge part of me is jealous and I think to some degree I've tried to desensitize myself to that. But I also know that a lot of people who get into long distance relationships, and to be honest with you, being in this long distance relationship has taught me a lot, a lot about myself, a lot about what I sort of viewed a partnership and a relationship to be, and also how to find balance. There was a lot of codependency in the beginning of my relationship, believe it or not, even though we were in a long distance relationship, but there was a lot of wanting to be on FaceTime all the time and wanting to be with him all the time to make up for him not physically being there. And I realized in myself that I definitely depended on a partner a lot of the times to kind of deal with what I was going through. And it's allowed me to really know the difference between sharing your time with somebody and wanting somebody to fill a void. And it's something a lot of my previous relationships looked like. Most of the people I dated, there was a quick obsession with them, a quick need for them, more than want for them. And I'm super, super grateful for the fact that I learned this really hard lesson in my life because 
in the beginning of a relationship, it was very, very different for me. And I'm, I'm being totally honest with you guys because I want you guys to know me. And I'm not perfect. I make mistakes in my life, but there was almost like an anger that I felt towards Gil if he had things he needed to do or if he needed to be his own person because I felt like he needed to be spending whatever free time he had with me, on me, because we were in this long distance relationship and we were trying to make it work and you make it work by talking at all other hours of the day. And since then, I've really, really realized that I was doing that because I didn't feel okay with myself or I was not okay with alone time. And I can really thank my long distance relationship for that. But yeah, it was really interesting to, to learn that about myself and it's really challenged me to figure out balance and figure out how to balance a relationship. And in a lot of ways, I really appreciate now that Gil and I are together, but we can be separate. We can be separate people and still at the end of the day, come back to each other. And as stressful and sad as this situation can be, I'm also pretty thankful about what it's taught me and the lessons I've learned and that's also just being in a five-year relationship too. My longest relationship before this one was six months so there wasn't a lot of experience there. <laughs> the deciding between two of my worlds as much as it sucks to constantly be up and on the go and I really hate the idea of having to travel later today. That's just the way my situation is but as it stands the big question why do you do it? Love. That's all I can say. When you love a person, when you really, really love a person, you will do anything, anything you can to make it work. And while love is not the only reason you should be with a person, love is certainly strong enough to make me want to keep doing this and to make me want to keep fighting and to make me not give up on him. And the same goes for him. And we've been in situations, admittedly, in our relationship where we felt beat down or we felt like we shouldn't do this anymore, we couldn't do this anymore, but Essentially, it comes down to us just loving each other so much and knowing we're making it work as it stands and this works for us currently. And it's truly a privilege to be able to see each other as often as we do right now. And love will probably continue to be the reason that we do this for however long we do this, which is, to be honest, hopefully not a lot longer. Anyways, I gotta wrap this up because I've gotta head to the airport really soon and I gotta finish packing. But it was nice to just talk to you guys again. I appreciate you guys so, so much for watching these videos, for liking these videos. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and new blog posts every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.